Hello everyone, it's Ryan again with Dark Winter Moon, and today I wanted to talk to you about making black salt um, and how to do that. So uh, what are the reasons that you might want to create black salt? Well, um, the first one that comes to mind is to protect yourself. So black salt is a great way to put a magical barrier around your space. Um, now the caveat with black salt is, is that it's very powerful. So I would recommend using it in great need. So if you feel threatened physically or spiritually or emotionally, this is a great tool to use in order to um, mark off and protect your space. Um, otherwise, plain white salt will work. So um, the other reason or another reason to use black salt is if you have someone in your space that you feel threatened about, uh, you can take black salt and you can put it in their shoes and it will drive them away. Um, and thirdly, um, this one's a little more obscure and esoteric, um, but you can use black salt in a Wittershins ritual. Um, and I won't say more about that now because that just gets way too in the, to the weeds, but in a future video, I'll probably talk about Wittershins rituals. So with that said, today I'm going to show you how to make your own black salt. And um, another thing I'll say about black salt is that um, it is, one thing that makes it really powerful is it's based primarily in the fire element. Its power comes from fire element, from the fire element. Um, um, so I'm going to be creating a black salt too that enhances that fire potential. All right, so let's get started. So um, here we are. So what I would recommend having for making your own black salt is a funnel, a mortar and pestle, um, a lantern or candle that is red. In this case, I don't have red candles, so I'm using a red lantern. Um, and then your primary ingredients are going to be salt, and um, charcoal. So, um, and um, I'm going to be adding cinnamon today. If you can see that, move that out of the way. And uh, I'm gonna be using a little bit of cinnamon oil and dragon's blood oil. Now, you don't have to use um, the oils. I'm just using that to enhance the spell. Main thing is, two main ingredients are gonna be your salt and your charcoal. Um, cinnamon also is pretty easy to come by, so I would recommend putting that in there, but it's not necessary. Also, um, an old spice bottle with the uh, shaker top in it is very helpful as well. So, um, with that said, um, the way that I came about the charcoal is I just got that out of the fireplace, um, and I crushed up some charcoal from there. Um, I would not recommend using, um like the type of charcoal that you buy in the bag on the grill because it's already pre-treated with something and it's very flammable and probably not a very uh, safe to work with um, and could possibly be toxic. Um, the other thing um, is a candle. I think I said that I'm using a, a candle and a lantern in this case. Um, so I would uh, recommend blessing and dressing your candle with the cinnamon oil if possible or any other oil to you that uh, denotes fire um, and charging it. Um, if you've never blessed and dressed a candle, I'm going to link that video up here about how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to light the candle and call on the power of fire to aid me in this and to help me charge my finished product with its energy and power. Hail, power of fire, power of the south. I call on thee to aid me in this spell, to charge and infuse this black salt with your energy and power, your light, your life, your will, and your passion. Hail and welcome. So now that the candle is lit, 
and fire is called. Fire's energy will be woven into the spell of creating the black salt and infuse it with its power and potential. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my empty jar, empty spice jar, take off the top, and I'm gonna take the salt and I'm going to put it in the bottle. Pretty easy, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna charge that salt. By the power of the moon that controls all seas and tides, may this salt be blessed for the creation of this magical work. So may it be. Then I'm gonna add the charcoal. So you would think that the charcoal or the ash would be, would stain. It's basically just carbon. Um, and you wanna do about half and half or so. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra, a little bit more than half in there of the charcoal because I'm gonna be um, putting cinnamon in there as well. So that way. So then, we take our cinnamon, just gonna put a little bit in there, not much. Ground cinnamon is better, obviously. Then I'm gonna take what I have, I'm gonna shake it together. All right. All right so then you have the first step to making black salt. That's pretty much it. You've got black salt already. So like I said, I'm going to put in a few drops, or actually probably just one drop of the cinnamon oil. I don't want it to clump together too much, so you want to be careful with how much oil you put in. Okay. Then the dragon's blood oil. Don't ask me how I had black dragon's blood oil. I remember buying it at one point long ago. Don't remember where, but it's still here and it still smells lovely. Uh, one reason that I'm using dra Dragon's Blood is it's kind of a very intuitive reason um, or a magical reason. I said one drop is enough. I had a dream when I was in college about using Dragon's Blood in order to form a protective circle around someone of my friends that was in danger. Um, and as I researched it, you can imagine dragon's blood is a very potent, protective item. And um, it, it infuses this with the power of dragons, basically, <laughs> which tend to be guardians. Then you shake it again. And then comes the activation part. Power of fire. I call on thee for this work. Charge this new creature of salt and cinnamon, of dragon's blood and charcoal. Infuse it with your power of protection to hold out all that are not welcome in my space and to stand firm against them and to use the power of fire to protect me. So mote it be. Then the reason for the top, this makes it so much easier to sprinkle your black salts around to form a protective barrier or in, to put it in someone's shoes. And there you have it. That's it. So there you have it. Black salt. This is a very powerful way to protect yourself and to force people that are threatening you or that are endangering you in your space to leave. Um, take this on lightly. It's a powerful magic. Don't take this on lightly. It's a powerful magic. 
and um, it's super easy to do, like I said. Um, and as always, thank you for joining me. Uh, I very much appreciate you. Um, please subscribe and like, and have a wonderful weekend. Blessed be.